Welcome on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all those who do not want to cosplay as Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> this is Chaotic Feline. This is Zachman the Great at your service. And you are watching, watching Way Past Crazy, crazy Guys. Guys. The show where two crazy people like us are, go are doing Let's Plays and where curiosity will not kill the cat. Yeah. Actually, maybe it will, depending on... Oh, game. <laughs> depending if it's blind Let's Plays, but this is not a blind Let's Play. <laughs> this is Crash Bandicoot 2. This is... Cortex Strikes Back. Start yes. To begin. I will press start to begin. This is the first Let's Play for our channel. This is... This is gonna be this is gonna be run by me. I'm gonna be playing this one. This is probably one of my favorite games of all. Probably one of my favorite Crash Bandicoot games of all time. That's gotta hurt. It yeah. it, it really does. It, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Crystals, of course. <laughs> Shout out to Clancy that, Brown. That, that Homer. Don't. Yeah. Shout out to Clancy Brown <laughs> for the voice of uh Doctor Cortex. Full power need not only your master crystals, but also the remaining 25 slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we need to find an enemy. So if you're wondering how we're going to be doing this Let's Play, we'll, we'll, uh, these Let's Plays, I'll, we'll talk about that after, uh... I remember yeah. playing a few minutes of this. Crash? Yeah. Crash, my battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. Why don't you do it, you lazy... <laughs> why don't you yeah, do yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, you have you're a lazy, lot of... You're sitting, you're sitting doing absolutely nothing like we are, but what? Yeah, yeah, you're just looking around me, that's all you're doing. Why are you still looking at me? <laughs> Stop looking at me! Stop... <laughs> Actually, uh, let, let's get let I'll just I'll just get the six. But you, if you break that box, uh, you, you can bounce over that ten times, and you it, you can get uh ten. Uh, yeah, but this is one of my favorite Crash games of all time. Number two, and I wanted to start off with this for a let's play. So the way how it's gonna happen, way past crazy guys. No, I'll write down the first life. Yeah, Zach, Matt, and Great and I are gonna be uh doing. Yo. Uh, yeah, yeah, Zach, Matt, and Great and I are we're gonna be doing uh different let's plays of the, of games that we like. So since. This is the one I like. I get to play this game while he co co commentates. You'll, we'll, you'll, you'll be able to see what the other let's play is by Doug when it gets. Oh, you'll find out. You'll find it kind of ironic. Yeah. Just but I, when saying. I was a kid, I played this game so much. This is such a fun game. I wish I could play this game. Well, now you get to experience it with me. This is another reason why I want to do these let's play. So the other person right next to me will be able to experience Crash. <laughs> so the games that I have played that he might have not have seen before. Right. But here you are with the baby. Where do I end up? Where am I? Where am I? I don't know. Well, well, well. You! If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. There's Aku Aku just in the background, just like, whoa. <laughs> Crash is like scratching his head like, why am I helping him again? Well, he, Wait, he's, what? well he's dumb. I mean, Crash Bandicoot is technically dumb, so he just he will just listen to anything. More or less. Yeah, but, but the- I have to get crystals? Okay. Yeah, this- Let's go do that. Let's go do that right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the object for this uh, Let's Play, I'm going to 100% this game, so it's going to be definitely an experience like no other. <laughs> So in order to 100% uh, in a game like Crash Bandicoot, one of the objectives is to, to destroy all crates in every stage. So that is one of the big objectives. Crash should be able to jump by pressing the X button, like so. If you, if you push the square button, you will do a tornado spin. If you push the circle button while you're up in the air, you get to do a belly flop. Belly if you push the circle button while you're, in the, while, you're, while you're on the ground, you get to do a slide attack. There's a lot of things that Crash can do with this game that the uh, first game he can't, he can't do. I'm so rusty with this game. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to a childhood game is just uh, so many memories. And... You don't, you don't have to collect all the peaches, do you? No, you, uh, you don't have to collect all the peaches. That, if you collect, if you collect a hundred of these, though, you get an extra life. These are Wampa fruit, by just the like, way. Just, just like Mario when he collects a hundred coins, just like Sonic when he collects a hundred peaches. That's e clearly e e not a concept at all. Except Super Mario 64. Dude, forget how to get a hundred coins in that game. <laughs> that one just gives you a star. 
Also, you get to do a, you get to jump higher if you hold the crowd. You hit the, hit the, hit the circle part. So. Oh snap! No, I lost my next alive by accident. <laughs> <laughs> this game, you could actually do that. Like, let, let me give you an example. Like, you could actually push the square button. You could throw them away, but that would be dumb. Oh snap! No! I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> this, this is you going up in a funny level. <laughs> Now that Aku Aku you saw earlier, that's basically your hit, your, your, your hit point. So if you don't have Aku Aku, you get hit once you're dead. Yeah. So I just love how that started off already. So yeah, great start already. Oh look, there's the life you just lost. Yeah, the life I just lost. So that's why I love collecting Guapa fruit sometimes. sometimes. There's so many of them. Yeah, so many. Of them. Try not getting rid of the life this time. Not. So I said try. I know you're roasty at it. Roasty, very roasty at it. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go back there. Go back here. Yeah. Yeah, but this is definitely a game you can actually play with the D-pad because even though it's a uh, 3D environment, it actually feels really nice with the D-pad. How did I not jump on it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Screw you, game! I didn't even get a checkpoint yet! Technically, that's a good thing. Actually, this game, uh, compared to the first Crash game, the, crash, the first Crash game, if you get a checkpoint if you, and if you die, all the boxes that you have got will go will go back to normal. Oh, yeah, this game, right. it actually saves your progress in this one. So that's why this one's going to be a definite. How am I doing so bad at the beginning? This is... Because you haven't touched it in a while and you're... I have touched it in a while, though. I <laughs> I have actually did some... I actually practiced on this game before we started. I'm just saying. Oh, I missed that one. Bro. You know what? Screw that. I'm actually bringing him with me. Oh, my God. Actually, you know what? Oh my gosh, why did I think this before? I'm an idiot. Point right there. I am, I am an idiot. Forget way past crazy. I'm just the way past idiot, guys. I'm just kind of sitting here doing it. Uh, yeah, I don't have to worry about that. Oh, no, they're checkpoint. That just wasted my checkpoint I had to the other one. I just realized that. Yeah. Because if I died right now, I will be back right there. Yeah. That's the pause button. That's Who not the button. Okay. Yeah, this game introduces the nitro crate boxes. The TNT, what, the TNT crates, uh, when you step on it, it gives a time limit. But th this one, nitro, it explodes immediately in contact. What? Oh my gosh! I thought I was gonna split off. You're so lucky. Oh, I gotta be careful of this one, okay. Because they drop immediately when you jump on them, so... Yeah. And if you want to 100% the uh, the crates, you gotta be quick on your toes. I'm gonna die now. <laughs> I, I, I gotta get the crates, I, because he won't, that, that thing won't go back up. That's why you gotta be really quick on your toes on that. Yeah. So let's talk about you, Doug. Were there any Crash Bandicoot games you have you, have you ever played before? Nope. So, so this, this, you're actually very new to the Crash series, then. Well, you are like in I for said, a I played a little bit of this one, but that yeah. was, that's completely different. You're in for never, a... The only person that had it was uh, my cousin, I believe, and well... And he took that with him? She... Oh, she took that with her, okay. We had it. This is actually a fun series. It, there's a lot of comedy in this game. <laughs> Like trying to mess up. Yeah, that's how you destroy the nitro crates because like, nitro crates count for your 100% uh, completion as yeah. well. So, without killing yourself. Yeah. Now, as long as I don't die here, I don't have to go back to that one checkpoint. And you just... I did not do it myself. <laughs> don't don't chase it. Okay, bonus ones. If you die, you go back to the bonus spot. So. Yeah. Since we already wasted up at the top of the beginning, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, ignore some of the. Uh... Yeah, it's good. Uh, I mean, 
Yeah, the bonus ones basically you can get them, you can get them uh, immediately, and you don't have to worry about them. Yeah. Oh, wait, how do you spike one with the? Oh, I can't use one. I have to use up the air. Or not. Okay, it looks like I have to jump on. Oh, okay. Nah, tornado spin. Or not? <laughs> This I just love it how he is. This is our first it. let's play in this channel. <laughs> it's already off to a great start. It's off to a great funny start already. I'm having fun. This is, that's why it's great to have two people in here. <laughs> I learned my lesson when I did let's plays myself with the chaotic feel like child. That's why I'm gonna get rid of all of those because you're actually bored by yourself in my opinion. Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can do the uh Oh, uh, no, I didn't do the end. Uh, because I saw uh, uh, Let's Players that do, that do this to try to avoid doing this sequence right here. Mushroom. Yeah, Mushroom of Destiny. Is he getting high too? Yeah, is it? I guess so. I wouldn't imagine that I crashed it. Okay, I was about to say if I did bank that. Oh, extra luck! No! <laughs> Let's get it. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this turtle to come back up. He doesn't want it. Wake up, Brandon. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that thing is fast! <laughs> I didn't realize how fast you. that thing was. <laughs> he ran after you. There we go. We got it. Finally. Finally. Also, if you want to. Okay, we have 61 so far. Come on, Brandon. Shine. Okay, here we go. That was. And there's that crystal that we're going for. Oh, I guess I can jump over. Yeah, you I'm can an idiot. <laughs> Looks like I'm an idiot again. Let me see if I can try to. Up. Up. That's okay. It work. Your plans aren't working. My plan is not working. <laughs> Professionals can do this, but I can't. I'm not a professional. And if we got all of them, we should be able to get a clear gem right there. Okay, there we go. So we got a crystal and a gem. Chaos emeralds as well. Actually, there are colored gems in this game. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but they're different. Some of them have different uh, designs on them. Yeah. Like I'll I'll talk a little bit more about I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about the gem collecting Yay! stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, we so get to happy. see we get to see his uh. Every time you collect a gem, he does that uh, dance. So yeah, we put on his move there. Looks like Cortex wants to speak to us again. What do you want? What the hell do you want well, from us? Dumb crash! I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. Uh -huh. Crystals are the only means yeah. of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. What kind of technology does he have? She has a computer. It's a pink, yeah, that, that laptop is a... I'm surprised what, you were able to get through she, that. What did she install Skype and apparently Skype <laughs> also makes holograms? <laughs> what? That would be cool if that Skype. Is, that makes that'll sense. That would be cool if Skype made holograms. Just. Okay, but if you're wondering, let me, let me explore this warp room for you. Each warp room has like different, uh. Let's show it on the number of gems you can get in each area. Now, if they're colored, that is the co that is the colored gem you can get in this uh, in this warp room. You, if you notice, there's a blue one in here. I'm gonna yeah. go back to Turtle Woods and get, 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 nab that gem right now. Now. If you do not know, if you actually don't actually read the uh, the guide for this, you would not know. Actually, you can find out by the show too, but you'll uh, slap your head if you do. But the objective to get the blue gem in this one is to not destroy any crates at all. Sounds fun. So if you die, you have to go back to the very beginning. That, that's what I'm trying. But I have a, I have Aqua Aqua with me, so I got two hits. Unless I fall into a pit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but that's how you get the blue gem in this area, so... Yeah, the the colorful gems had like specific things you got to do in order to, in order to, in order to find them. Also, I gotta say this that, is pretty much nothing more than a dodging game. Yeah, for for a game like Crash Bandicoot, the PlayStation well, the graphics look really nice mm -hmm. for a PlayStation title. And the music is so catchy. Oh, <laughs> it had a really good soundtrack in, the, in, in, in this game. So right. See, this is, the, this is the thing that will definitely get a lot of people. What you have to do is, you have to hit this one because it will, it will take 10 hits to destroy that by a jump. So as long as you hit that one, you'll be- Oh my gosh, that thing was right in front of it. I was so scared. I was like, I want to have to redo that again. 
Um, oh, gee, I don't know. I messed that up. Uh, where's the nearest pit? Oh, where's the nearest turtle? There he is. Yeah, yeah where's the nearest turtle? Yeah, just making sure I didn't break any crates. I just wanted to... Looks like he's swimming. That mud is pretty thick, so I, I can tell if he's swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. swimming. <laughs> oh my god. Crash, you are an idiot! You can't jump. Then again, I'm the idiot that's controlling an idiot, so. And this should give us the blue gem. Ta da! Yay, pew! Now that take care of that area, so that, that warp area is complete. So. Sorry. Now, if you don't want to keep seeing the dead, like, I can always push the start button, so. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah, but we saw one, so, uh, another hologram. Wait, who is this now? So, you are helping Cortex gather crystals. Yet, you have acquired a gem. Interesting. <laughs> well, Crash, <laughs> no. Hey, that's the hundred percent completion. I must use my forces to stop you from gathering crystals. So yeah, Brio is the is the one behind all these enemies on here for, for us to get the crystals. But he wants to try to help to stop Cortex by getting all the gems. So that that is the uh, that is that is the reason for all these gems to collect because so we can stop Cortex. But Crash is too stupid to realize that. So we have to control Crash for us. Yeah. For him, actually. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Cortex and Brio used to work for each other at the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. But he feel like he got double-crossed by Cortex, so we just keep getting revenge on him. Anyway, time for Snow Go. Are you going to let it go? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Can't hold it back anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was snow-related. We're not gonna let it go. We're gonna snow go. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna steal my tornado ability? You're gonna, you're gonna come over here. Dude. This is probably my favorite soundtrack. Gonna get right here, right here. The uh, the snow levels. Oh, the level oh, one. Ice physics. Yep, we got ice physics in this game. Gosh dang it! Stand still, quick. You. you weren't close enough. You're being very generous with these lies all of a sudden. Because the question mark box is supposed to be uh, at random. <laughs> are you trying to get a life, or are you just trying to jump over that thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get a life. Oh, okay. Let me let me step on these. Crash step on these. Because if I actually spit on it, it will destroy it. Oh, how generous of you, TNT! <laughs> that made my life a lot easier. Yes, it did. Oh my! I totally went to the other side. <laughs> now I gotta do that you process. Landed, you landed so hard that you lost your shoes. Yeah, I lost my shoes. That's the whole other thing about Crash Bandicoot. The way he dies is supposed to be comedic as well. He dies comedically. I can't believe I jumped a little I off your rock. A little, off my, uh, a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready to destroy this and take a hit. No, don't take a hit. Okay, here we go. No. Off my little bit. Stop getting frantic. Stop it. Screw ice physics! Stop it! Get near the TNT. There. No. Jump. There you go. Don't worry about the it, it didn't matter. Now be wrong. Okay, there you go. There 
Seals are an seals are an enemy force. I did not know that. Yep. So Unless it's just a part of the where they live. So we are warping to these areas. So I was crash. I was crash a random part of the Ice Age. No, I'm. No, I'm just, say, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, the people that live here, we're warping there, from the, from the warp zone. But why are animals trying to stop you, not the people? I have no idea. <laughs> I have unnatural horses! Oh, there's the red gem, but as you can see, there was no way we could obtain this, we had to do it a different way, but that's way later into the game, so uh, we have to ignore that gem. You could have made that. Why had they, that is so weird of having it in a nice area. Anyway, photo stage! Whee! Oh look, where are your fun ice visits? They give me an advantage to do too, so... Yeah, all the Wampa Fruits. Part of a Crash Bandicoot's balanced breakfast. I always thought, what, yeah, when I was young, I always thought those were peaches, but uh, they're, they're called Wampa Fruits. They look like peaches. Now, if you watch it, 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 uh, Crash, in the first Crash Bandicoot game, he actually throws the uh, Wampiru up in the air and it splats on his head. The inside of it is purple. Hmm. So purple juice is inside of Wampa Fruit. Yay, more extra lives. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah that, that's a cool sound effect as well. I remember when I was young, I, when I tried to 100% this game, I completely forgot that this was back here. <laughs> so backtracking is definitely something here. Mr. Penguin! Oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, hey, I am so off of my timing. Hey, Mr. Penguin, here, let me take a hit. Because <laughs> I don't care about my own safety for some strange <laughs> reason. I almost got hit again. For my team. Yay! Okay, I heard the exclamation point. Oh, so there you go. <laughs> if you look at him just right, it looks like he's cheering for a team. Oh, yeah. oh I, <laughs> I didn't push the, the, the square button in time. There you go. That's also the most satisfying thing destroying a bunch of uh, crates at one time. I just used the penguin to hit that crate. Yes, you did. Thank you, Mr. Penguin. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Gosh, there. there you go. Nice! I, got him. I like how they ricochet out of there, too. Run! <laughs> this. Same problem, different outcome. Or same outcome, different problem. Hey. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, my Wampa Fruits! No, my fruit! These are my fruits, not yours. No, my fruit! It's horrible! Yeah. Gee, your team. You can do it. So why doesn't Crash wear a shirt? That's, that's, that is awkward. People, you know what? Ever since Sonic Boot came out, they made, actually made fun of the, the new Knuckles uh, model, if you remember how it looks like. Because they almost look like Crash. Yeah, look at that. It, it looks like the same body that Knuckles has. From the, yeah, from but, the, but that one's more buff. Than there, I got the last one. Yeah. Just so, oh my! Oh my! Oh my god! <laughs> you see what happens when you look away? You're I, like, yeah, I got him! It's like, not for, and forgetting about the fact that they spawn! Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So you know the uh, the red the red uh, the red crystal. Yeah. There's a there's another spot that has a bunch of crates, so that's why we can't 100 percent this one just yet. So we will in due time, though. That will be until a later date, though. Yeah. Anyway, I got the crystal. <laughs> you got our crystal. Okay. Hang eight. Between hang ten. This one says hang eight. So. But they, they have a lot of different crash puns in here. Some of them are corny, some of them are just laughable. Right. Yeah, anyway, welcome to the swamp levels. Yeah, it sounds like you're on. It sounds like you're about to get to. Oh my god. 
Well, there is no beach in this area, so... Now, if you noticed there was a second... monster! Now, if you noticed there was a second, uh... Gem spot thing. I believe so. Yeah, that... that, that but also known as hidden gems, so there's different things you gotta do. I'm trying to remember... I don't think it's this one. Oh, you know what? I think it is this one, but I just did... I just did with their fast enough. Listen, we're gonna do the hundred percent. We're gonna do the uh, the hundred percent uh, boxes first, and then we're gonna do the uh, the hidden gem for this area. Because what's supposed to happen near the beginning, there was supposed to be a time time limit there. Yes. But there was no time limit there, so uh, we have to do that next time. Run up, man! Oh wow, I jumped on that. I didn't think I would actually jump on that. Run right up, man! Pour on us. They want my bacon. They want your ba bacon. Yeah. What if Crash is the bacon? Well, Crash is not a pig, he's a bandicoot. I was you better back up. Okay. Like, yeah, you can't destroy steel crates. That's, that is given. Okay, there you go. <coughs> we like. Yay! All the lives of the Destiny. I can jump from here. Also, Crash Bandicoot can't swim. Oh, this is where the hidden gem is. You see, see, since, since we got the blue gem, since we got the blue gem, we'll be able to ride that platform. Eating it. Oh, actually, no. I think it immediately saves for you already for in here. Yeah. So, you know what? Just in case, if I accidentally, uh, dip... It doesn't save it. I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the hit gem first. Or not. Oh there we go. Those I can't get off help me! This I can't get off! Those I don't know why those platforms remind me of those uh those tablet candies. Or what were they called? Like like shockers? Or sweet tarts. You're probably eating a sweet tart, yeah. I actually to be honest. I do have to 100% it by going to this platform anyways. Yeah. But I think about it, it's like we do some more boxes here. But there's a hidden gem in here, I know that. I just stepped, I just stepped on the hippo. How do I do? Yeah. Unlike Mario and Sonic, Crash can't actually swim, so once he gets into the water, like that, he can't swim. Technically, Sonic can't swim. Yeah, but Sonic technically. But Crash isn't done by just like that. Sonic can actually stay in the water for a couple seconds. Yeah. yeah let's try this again. I can't get off the platform. Why? There are some that are an exception to the you can't get off the platform. I did it one time and I died. I was like, gosh dang it. <laughs> Right side, we're getting a lot of love out of here, so. What's up? Go for it, come on. There we go. Get out of here, plant. There you go. What the heck? Okay. Okay, good. Okay, let me get the ones on the floor first. I gotta go back there anyway because of the exclamation point. Oh gosh, those things. There it is. Ah! Gosh dang it! I hate backtracking! Because you have to go back against the camera of this game. Yeah. Oh, we got a checkpoint though, is that. Hey, we're good on lives. We got 18 lives. We got 18. We're fine. Hey, we're getting all these waffle fruits like that. Oh, yeah. When you're in here, if you sold those boxes that you had to hit 10 times, if you hit that immediately with this thing, you would be able to get your 10 waffle fruits. Also, there was, a, there was a square button I forgot to press. The square, the square of the X button. You'll see what you'll see what that does. There is no jump. The only way you can jump is with the ramp. But if you push the X button, or any button at all, you, you get a charge. That's how we're gonna get to those ramps. Or 
that happens to us. That was scary. There we go. Here we go. This, this, this is what we need to do. That random monster. Pretty horrible. Wait, what happened? No, I was about to say, as you're going down, it's like, all right, then. Random monster. <laughs> random, random monster, no. Who's gonna be? Oh, I got one. Oh, am I getting these one at a time now? I guess well, I'm getting it one at a time. What I, you know what I just saw? What's that? The fact that he actually went through the ramp. Oh. Okay. There we go. Stupid nature fences. The piranha plants. What you looking at, me, boy? Bye, piranha plants. I will, Bye. I will see you never. Uh -huh. Hey, look, actual piranhas, or Bodhi piranhas. Crystal! <laughs> and, and, not, and not Crystal from Star Fox's uh, adventure. There you go, more. See her as a Smash Brothers character? I would love to see her as a Smash Brothers character. She definitely has, she can definitely do different moves compared to the other Star Fox characters. I haven't played any adventure, but I, heard, but I know she has different things like uh, she, a, a staff and uh, yeah. different different bits. What's ironic about the staff is that she actually sent the box in it. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah. No. Dad, there we go. Play it, Dad. Dad. Okay, we got the hidden. Wait, did we get the hidden gem? No. Oh, you do what? Yeah, you do what? I was right. Yeah. The hidden gem is uh. Well, the hidden gem is probably gonna be next.